all right so now it's time to discuss about data interpretation data interpretation is a very important section of part a or paper 1 for csi net ugc net iit jam bit as well why because data interpretation is needed as a research scientist if you are going to be a budding scientist later data interpretation is something that you will deal with every single day and data interpretation means basically they'll give you a representation of data in graphical formats in compact formats where so much information will be punched into a graph or a table from there you need to gather that information and find out the answer so let's solve some of the data interpretation problems it may take some time for you to judge the data but you need to be very good at understanding the graph and to understand the graph you always need to understand the relationship between x axis and y axis because beat any kind of graph there will be x axis and y axis now based on this x and y axis there are different ways uh, the graph will be represented either bar chart pie chart any kind of chart they can represent it with but this is always with x and y relationship available in this case you can see there are two company company a with cross company b with circle in the x axis the number of years in the y axis percentage profit mentioned from the year 0 to 2008 and what they stated here is that if the income of company a in 2005 was equal to its expenditure in 2007 okay what was the ratio between company's expenditure in years 2005 and 7 respectively okay in this picture so basically from this picture you need to get the data and utilizing the data you need to calculate sometimes you may need to calculate sometimes you may not need to calculate in this case the some calculations will be involved okay so <clears throat> it was stated the income of the company a in 2000 this is a comparative study between company a and b if the income of company a in 2005 so income at 2005 equals to expenditure at 2007 okay let's assume that x x rupees okay and this is the x rupees income and expenditure same income at 2005 and expenditure at 2007 same so you can see that the percentage profit clearly you can see for the company a that is in the cross value 2005 this is the profit 2007 this is the profit so what we can see the profit increased in 2007 a little bit okay so what we can clearly state is that so what is the expenditure let's assume the expenditure at 2005 is x1 so at 2005 what we can tell x minus x1 profit i mean uh, yes uh, the x what we can say that investment income minus expenditure income x expenditure x1 by x1 equals to Uh, so that is the that is the amount that is the percentage value this is the percentage of uh, amount that they gather here is equal to what percentage what percentage in 2005 near about what this is 45 you can clearly see that right so x is income x1 expenditure x minus x1 by x1 into 100 that is the total percentage profit we are calculating percentage profit was 45% you can clearly see in 2005 it was 45% this is data interpretation so you are getting an information from the graph itself which is not written in any question either they can write it in the question or they can represent it with graph but this is graphical representation so equals to 45% we will not put percentage because we are actually breaking it down in percent values so from there what we know 100x Minus hundred x one equals to forty five x one, so hundred x equals to one forty five x one. Okay. So what will be the ratio? Now the ratio of what? X by x one. The ratio of x one by x. Ratio of what? Expenditure. so we find out the x1 value here 100 x by 145 that is x1's value okay and if we simplify it 20 by 29 x 20 by 29 x that was our value so this was what expenditure at 2005 
okay what is the expenditure at 2007 we already counted as x right so what is the ratio of expenditure of because it was told the income at 2005 equals to expenditure at 2007 it was also given in the graph it was also told in the question so the ratio will be 20x by 29 so 20 is to 29 that should be the ratio option c you can see that there are two options 20 is to 29 29 is to 20 that's why you need to be very careful about which one is which like the expenditure of 2005 was 20x by 29 expenditure at two th uh, 2007 was only x then only you'll get 20 is to 29 otherwise it will be other way around okay remember that it's very important all right so let's move to another problem here pre phd exam score of 10 students are plotted against the msc marks which of the following is true four statements are given which is true pre phd exam score of 10 students okay are plotted against their msc marks so this is percentage marks i don't see any plot here basically okay so it was stated that this is msc marks in x percent msc marks in x uh, axis percentage marks in pre phd exam in y axis so you can basically see 40 percent in msc pre phd only 10 20 30 we need to have a clear idea that where the the marks comes in which is not actually mentioned here sorry all right now we'll solve another data interpretation number of times a research paper is viewed and cited is shown in the plot which is relevant in which month in which month was the percentage increase in citation more than double of the percentage increase in views citation double then percentage of views that is the month we need to find out in which month the citation the citation is more than double more than double so citation is more than two times than views the percentage views that month we need to figure out based on looking at this picture okay in the x axis we have the month in the y axis we have the citations the views uh, we can clearly see okay so citation is greater than two times of the percentage views in which month so okay the percentage views we are calculating right the percentage increase so you can see views four four january we have two citations four views two citations four views basically when we see the the spike the percentage increase in citation basically the percentage increase in citation goes 2 to 4 is 100 percent right so this is citation two citations in january citation gets doubled in may 2 to 4 right 100 percent spike so that means what this was the view april it was 2 may it was 4 so april to may so from april to may you can clearly see by looking at this graph itself no calculation april to may the citation is doubled than twice but if you look at the view how much view is changed from 7 to 9 so 9 minus 7 by 7 that much percentage so 2 by 7 into 100 200 by 7 percentage 200 by 7 means what of course that is more than double so what we can say which month may because it's quite easy there are two only two ways either you can say from january to may or it is april to may where the citation gets doubled and also what we need to see is that not only citation should get double but also the viewership increase the viewership also increased for seven to nine so of course this is the month which month may is the month in that month 
we see the spiked citation as well as the spiked view. So that's why you choose May, not April. Remember that. So that should be our answer. You don't need any calculation. Basically, IQ is enough to answer this. Now we'll solve this problem. Study the following graph. Again, units of raw material manufactured and sold by a company over a period of years. Units of raw material manufactured and sold by the company. Years in the x-axis. Units of raw materials in the y-axis. Okay, manufactured is black dot sold is cross okay you can see there's a dip in sold and manufactured in the years 2007 the question stated what so the questions are not uh, written here I, i'll write the question the question number one what is the average number average number of units sold units sold over time Average number of units sold over time or sold over the years. Okay, that is the first question. Options are given 44 lakh, 4.4 lakh. Okay, uh, 44 lakh, 4.4 crore CR. Sorry, 44 crore and none of the above. Four options are there. And the question number two stated: What is the respective ratio? The respective ratio. Of the number of units manufactured in the year 2004 to the number of units manufactured in 2008. So the ratio between the number of units manufactured in 2004 and 8. I am not going to put any options because we are going to find it anyway. Okay. So let's average number of units sold over the years. So sold is the cross one that is this one how much sold in 2004 we have this this much units of raw material sold so near about half between 3 and 4 so we'll take it 3.5 then this one 4 this one 5 this one 3 this one 6.5 so what is the average how many years 5 years so this is the average value simple average calculation nothing else 4.4 4.4 means this is related to crore so obviously we'll put crore value which is not written anywhere the units of raw material is not calculated by money but as the options if you can see 4.4 is our answer it matches with 4.4 crore so we'll go with 4.4 crore this is the answer to first question the answer to second question ratio of number of units manufactured in 2004 to the ratio of number of units manufactured in 2008 so 2004 how many unit manufactured you can see that 4.5 and in 2008 how many units manufactured 7 so 4.5 out of 7 so the ratio we can simply say 45 is to 70 or we can write it as 9 is to 14 so the option answer here is 9 is to 14 that should be the answer to the second question very very clear no big deal if you know how to analyze a graph you can analyze pie chart, dot plot, bar chart, any of this chart. Now let's solve this question. This question is also another data interpretation. Let's take a different color. It's stated in the x-axis the number of years, in the y-axis income of expenses in lakhs. Income of uh, income of expense I don't understand what they say the expense or what mm, but what we can say that firm's position so expenditure and income both are given the firm's position is here and here in terms of expenditure in terms of income at a given point of time which conclusions is not true means which conclusion is false that means among four statement one statement is false rest of the three will be true. Profit of the firm was minimum in 1980 and maximum in 1985. You can see that 1980 expenditure, the profit is, this is net income, this is expenditure. So this is the profit in between 1980, 1985, this is big. So in 1985, profit is more. So this statement is true. Rate of increase in income is less than that of increase in expenditure. So in 1980, what happened? Rate of income, rate of increase in income. So this is 
increase in income so this is income increment rate and it says less than that of the increase in expenditure so expenditure increase and income increase okay income increase is less than the increase in expenditure you can see that the rate of increase in income is less than that of the increase in expenditure up to 1980 so till this point this is less and after that it drops so yes that's also true there is a direct relationship between income and expenditure after 1980 basically after 1980 there is no particular relationship between uh, the expenditure and income because you can see the graph is going crazy after 1980 till 1980 there is a relationship you can tell after 1980 there is no relationship so you can say that c is not true and all the above no so c is not true or c is false so our statement will be c got it because basically we can calculate this idea that this firm is earning more expenditure is also more from 1970 whatever to 1980 but after 1980 there is no proper relationship now another question what is the respective ratio of men to women working in night shifts in the cell industry okay that is something not at all from this question so we only stick to the question number 19 and we know that uh, this is our idea this is that the c is a false statement so you can see that is data interpretation problems are not that complicated all you need to do is to understand the graph and basically when when i mean understand the graph this image in the middle is not that important the important part is what is x and what is y how x and y is relatable because x is something on which y will depend okay that's how it's really really important so that is how you'll solve this kind of problems and uh, we'll solve more problems later on but i believe that gives you overall idea about paper 1 of csnet exam